Stop going out and sitting around with your friends like a schmuck. Go out and bring the fun with you with Chicken Shit, the drinking card game designed to be played in public. The game's simple. Players take turns drawing cards and doing the challenges on them for points with the help of complete strangers. Challenges can be anything from give someone a piggyback ride to get a stranger to twerk. Each challenge is worth a different amount of points based on its difficulty. If you fail a challenge or decide to pass, take a drink. Fortune and egg cards mix up the game, and group challenges allow for a battle royale where all players compete for points. The player with the most points at the end of the night wins. Chicken shit. Make going out the funnest thing you've ever done. Which won't be hard, because you're a schmuck. <laughs> this is a basic party, but this is a party with brew. Our brand new beer pong robot. Brew is a moving beer pong target. Hey Kickstarter, my name is Eric Fergola, and you just have a first look at your new robot. We took the basic game of beer pong and updated it. Meet Brew, the autonomous beer pong robot. Just turn it on and go. A bunch of sensors and a computer inside, make sure that Brew won't fall off of the table or hit anything. This little feller is jam-packed with a lot of features. We want them to be as convenient as possible. You can use any phone charger with a micro USB cable to recharge. We've been in development with our manufacturer for two years. Now, we just need your help with bringing Brew to life. That's why we're raising funds for Kickstarter to fill the first order of robots. Once we pass our fundraising goal, we've chosen to pay for the molds up front to gain a head start on production so that everyone who has pledged will receive the robots this summer. To help spread the word, we're giving away free robots. Now the most important feature that's inspired me to build this and the meaning of my company is to bring people together. And Brew does just that. Imagine the epic summer nights spent with great friends and your own brews. You can pledge today and you'll receive your robots this summer. Click on the button to the right and share it with your favorite two friends once you're done. Beer Bash is an exciting new drinking game. It's like a vertical adult version of Don't Break the Ice. The object of the game is to avoid a classic party foul. Don't let the bottle drop. To set up, install the side brackets into the base and slide the Beer Bash plate onto the back. Add the blocks and remove the plate. One by one, each player spins the wheel. They then poke out the corresponding color with this nifty little poker. If the spinner lands on drink, that player takes a drink, and their turn is skipped. If the spinner lands on all colors, that player chooses any block. The skip symbol skips that player's turn. If a player pokes out a block with a dot on it, that player takes a drink. Take a drink for each extra block that falls, and three if you drop the bottle. And that's it! For more information and other fun party games, visit us at towpathgames.com. Thanks for watching! Dick sucking. Sucking dick. Sloshed. Uh, Trash. Wasted. Uh, Sweater puppies. Ping pong balls. Uh, melons. Uh, uh, Socks with a marble on the bottom, girl. Glue. Huffing uh, ass. Um, <laughs> did you say huffing uh, ass? Huffing ass. Ball Good hunter. job. <laughs> <laughs> Meet the party game that rewards your everyday, real-world knowledge. You know, stuff like alcohol, drugs, partying, sex, slang names for male and female body parts. Welcome to Midnight Outburst. Swang for fellatio. Go! Blood Blood job. Job. Eating up! Sucking dick! Knob Knob uh, 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 Midnight Outburst is a game that tests your knowledge of adult subjects. And the great thing is, you already know the answers. The challenge is getting as many as you can in 45 seconds. Here's how you play. First, your team takes two cards from the deck and chooses a category based on your headline hint, like fully loaded, well-laid pipes, or testes, one, two, three. Slang terms for marijuana. Then you have 45 seconds to name as many as you can. Uh, weed. But, uh, but, 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 uh, but, 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 but,
and right answers are written on the card and get checked off as you answer correctly. The more right answers you get, the more points you earn for your team. That's simple. Yeah! You may have played Outburst as a kid, but Midnight Outburst is strictly for adults. Choose from great categories like places you found pubic hair, drinking games, drugs you've tried at least once, reasons you got a tattoo removed, things more common in porn than in real life. I put it on the wall. Squishy time. No, squishy time is not on there. It has endless replay value with over 500 different categories. And it's so fun watching your friends shout crazy shit. Plus, it's easy to play. Just use whatever's in that twisted brain of yours. So spend a night yelling at your friends playing the shout out party game that's filled with sex, drugs, and nerdy trivia. Please support us on Kickstarter, and in exchange, we'll send you the game you've always been waiting for. Hi, my name is Clint and I am the inventor of the Ultimate Drinking Game. It's a short little game actually designed for about four to six players, uh, containing just one single deck and that's literally all you need to play. One of the most interesting things I've found in this game is the people and the way the mechanics kind of manipulate you into playing against yourself and against others. It is a game of back and forth, it's also a bit of a game of teamwork, but the best thing about this is that strategies just sort of naturally develop in how it's played. Speaking of which, let's get into how it's played. The idea is to actually finish all the cards in your hand and then finish all the cards in the deck. The biggest thing is, the only way to finish this is to actually play a card on yourself. So did you get that? Basically what it means is that if you play a card on yourself, then the card is discarded and the card does not come back into the game. And if you play a card on someone else, are you silly? Oh, shit. <laughs> the card goes back into the deck, it is not discarded, and the game sort of continues on. Now there are ten different types of cards that exist in this game. Uh, they range from cheers and drunk tanks and hydrates and a whole bunch of different varieties and names and quirks and topics that I'm going to go into detail down below. Alright, let me get down to the point. I'm on Kickstarter because I'm trying to actually raise money to actually get this game out there. I've been playing it with my friends in various different formats for the last like for the last three years exactly um, to get this right and get this ready for public. I played this game at PAX in Australia last year with a bunch of other game friends and we had an absolute ball and that was when I realized that this game was really ready to go to market. Anyone can play it, anyone can pick it up, I've done it, I've made a game that works. This is the ultimate drinking game, and I so am sure of that, that I've actually called it the ultimate drinking game. I really hope this video has actually shown you what this game can really be, that it can be a lot of fun, that it can be a great addition to the before game of your night out, or hell, the whole night itself. I have a ton of fun playing it, I had a ton of fun making it. Thank you very, very much, and hey, just be safe, happy drinking. The other thing in the game is that essentially you can play a card on someone else, but that actually can upset them a fair bit. It can happen. Uh, people can get hurt. So be careful. Play responsibly. Can we break the chip? Break the chip. Right. Great, great chip. One take, one chip. One take, one chip.